Hey, this is Matt Whitmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we're taking a look at a quick and simple little thing that you can do to change up your PX to make your links uh, feel a little bit more interactive and really signal to your users where those links are. Uh, I think users are now more in touch than ever with just general uh, UI choices and thoughtful UI design uh, because everyone's always on their phones and everyone's always using design things that are built by these big big companies that have a ton of people who spend a ton of time and money building UIs so um, we have some features and f uh, things that we can take advantage of in Niagara uh, they're a little bit hidden but super easy to use and um, if you're a Vicon user uh, you can even step it up to the next level and uh, use some additional features uh, in the Vicon Pro module. So let's jump into Niagara now and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so we're in Niagara now and I have a PX here. This is one that we've actually played with in previous videos. Just a little uh, playground kind of floor plan of our uh, office in West Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. And uh, We've got a bunch of points and things on here. We're not going to mess with any of these things here, really. But what I am going to do first off is I'm going to steal this uh, ord that's on this bound label here. And for demonstration's sake, I'm going to show you a couple different options for uh, adding some uh, mouse over type interactivity which you expect to see on the web nowadays but kind of gets overlooked when we're designing our PXs because maybe you don't have the time to really think about it or you haven't actually even thought about it at all. Um, we can make use of these things really easily uh, by changing a couple of properties in our bound labels that we're using on our PX. So if I go into my kit control or excuse me if I go into my kit PX we have this bound label here. I'm sure you've used it a ton. Uh, we can go in. I'm going to add in my ord so that it shows my temperature here in our warehouse. And there's this little feature here that you probably have overlooked. That is mouse over. If I change that to uh, highlight, what it'll do is it'll change the color of that entire label whenever the mouse goes over the label. So just so that we can see the label a little bit more clearly, I'm going to change the background to a actual color here. And then I'll also change my foreground so that we can see the text uh, well on that darker background color. We'll hit OK. And then we can see now that we have that whole label it has a background and we have a light colored foreground or text. If I get out of edit mode and I do a uh, mouse over, you, we can see now that I am indicating that there's a hyperlink that's possible here. Now in this particular case, there isn't a hyperlink on it, so I'll just real quick add one so that we can also see the uh, cursor change as well. So that's our typical functionality. So normally, if you didn't have that mouse over, the only way that you can really tell that there's a link there is by the cursor changing to the hand or the pointing icon there. Um, now it's a little bit more clear and um, this kind of thing I feel like is sort of an expectation now when you're navigating around the web. You expect some kind of uh, visual representation that we are dealing with a link. So this is one way to do that. Um, you could also use a different color maybe for your labels that are uh, links as opposed to uh, just regular text. Um, but I think the, the mouse over option is uh, a pretty simple uh, and easy one to do. And uh, everyone gets what's being um, shown when you're using it. Now, so that's the basic bound label option that you have in KidPX. If we want to step it up a notch and we have access to the Vicon Pro module. Oops. We pull up the Vicon Pro module. At the very bottom, we have this PX folder, and inside it, we have an enhanced bound label. If I drag that out, we will see that we have a lot more options for our mouse over. So real quick, I'm going to actually cancel out of this. I'm going to grab this or it again, go back in, add an enhanced bound label binding here. 
and you'll note that the enhanced bound label binding, which is another feature of the Vicon Pro module, automatically adds in this hyperlink uh, format, so it automatically hyperlinks to your ORD. And I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to change us to a highlight. I'm going to change our background here to that darker color again, our foreground to the lighter color so that we can see it. And then in the options here, if I expand this out, we can see that we have the ability to change the background color and the foreground color custom just so that we can set it to be what we want um, on this label. So I will change this to like this orange color and then we'll change the foreground just to be black so maybe it's a little bit easier to see than the white on the orange. Uh, we'll leave everything as else as is except actually I need to add in my animation on the text so that we can see the value. Hit OK and everything looks identical to our previous, right? But our previous, we had this blue color that is automatic, and it's our only choice. It's what we get when we change to mouse over. But now, on our uh, enhanced bound label, when I mouse over, I get the orange, and I get my custom foreground color. Uh, so, really simple and easy thing to do. I think it uh, elevates your PXs a little bit from maybe what the standard is that most people are doing, and quick and easy trying to get things out the door. Um, not a whole bunch of extra work to, to get this done, uh, but it elevates things, and uh, I think it also helps your users maybe navigate your PXs a little bit more. So hopefully that was helpful and informative for you. Quick and easy one this time. Um, if you have any questions or comments or any other things that you'd like to see in PX, leave them down below in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.